Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be my 10 months on tea update. Before I start I just want to say that I am using a new external microphone today so the audio might be different, hopefully clearer and better, but I guess there's a chance that you might actually be able to hear like absolutely everything going on as well so I don't know. I haven't actually done a test run with this microphone yet so I don't know how good it is. I don't actually know if it's even working, I'm just kind of hoping for the best here. Hopefully it's a better experience for you. I don't know, we will see. Also I think I have another red mark on my neck which keeps happening every time I do a tea update but my neck's very overdramatic, anytime I touch it, itch it, scratch it, it just goes bright red, it's just ridiculous. So please ignore that. So all of that aside, I think we should get into the tea update. So first of all I'm going to be showing you my moustache again. Um, I don't know how well you can see it in this lighting. Also my skin's kind of bad at the moment so please excuse that if you can. But um, yeah I have noticed with my moustache that it's starting to creep like up towards my nose kind of here. And also there's these little hairs that have come up like right here. <laughs> Talking really funny. And they like touch this part of my lip so I can like feel them pressing on my lip. I remember like the first day that I started feeling that happening I thought that something was like stuck to my lip like a bit of food or something but uh yeah it was just my moustache hair. Also talking about facial hair still I just wanted to talk about my beard um if I can call it that yet <laughs> I'm gonna start calling it that because I know I keep calling this my sideburns area but I think it's kind of beyond that now because that was kind of when it was just like here but now it is kind of everywhere so I'm calling it my beard you can't stop me okay I'm calling it my beard when I was shaving my head or I guess clipping it <laughs> um the other day I also kind of I said the other day it was like two weeks ago but whatever. I also kind of clipped like the sides of my face here because of how absolutely fluffy and out of control it was getting but I didn't really like do it anywhere else so the hair is like pretty uneven at the moment so it looks like shorter here and like longer here and on my chin so <laughs> if it looks uneven it's because I kind of made it that way. I will show you how this is looking real quick. Yeah, so I don't know if you can really see it that well now that I've trimmed it, but I do think like some of the hairs that were already darker, they're kind of a bit more obvious now because of being shorter. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in person I can really see there's like a few little hairs scattered around that are much darker than all of the other ones. So I think that's cool. And then I'll just quickly also show you my chin hair and like neck hair. I'd say it probably hasn't changed that much from last time. <laughs> Why was that so hard to think of? Yeah, so I think the chin hair is definitely getting longer and so is like the neck hair. I think the neck hair is going to be the next thing that I'm going to have to trim because it's kind of getting, it's getting a little out of control. I don't know if you can even tell but it's there because I'm constantly feeling it and touching it all the time. <laughs> I do again feel like it's all starting to like grow and connect together because it's funny how it starts out being sort of like disjointed and not connected and then it will eventually grows to like become one I guess. <laughs> so now onto other body hair that is not facial hair. I thought I'd show you how my arm hair is going again because that seems to be what I do every update now so I'll do it again. I don't know how well you can see anything really but a little bruise I don't know why. And then there's also my tummy hair which I guess is... I don't know how my tummy hair is going I guess it's kind of like the same as last time. I don't, I haven't really seen much of a difference but that could just be because I'm constantly looking at it so I don't notice it as much. And then I thought I'd also talk a little bit about my leg hair because I know that's something that I haven't really touched on much in these updates. I mean I don't know if I've seen a huge change in my leg hair but then I haven't shaved 
since I was like 17 so that could be part of it as well like my legs were already pretty hairy so that could be it too I don't know <laughs> so speaking of hair I'm also going to talk a little bit about my hair loss again which looks so obvious on camera I swear it is not this like easy to see in person I don't know why the camera picks up so well on it but yeah I did reshave my head again a couple weeks ago as I said um, but that's how the hair loss is doing. I don't know if it looks any different to last time, but it's there. <laughs> I did start taking finasteride yesterday, so I've only been taking it for two days, so there's obviously no progress on that yet, because it's going to take a lot longer than two days to like regrow hair and stop it from falling out and everything, but it's something. I'm I'm glad I get to try it. I'm a bit sad that I will not be seeing as much progress on my facial hair anymore now that I'm on finasteride, but it's worth a try because I'd really like to keep the hair on my head if I can. And then as for my skin, I do still have a lot of spots on my shoulders and like chest and upper arms and I am starting to also get a lot of them on my nose. It could just be like a breakout that'll go away, but I've definitely been seeing an increase in lots and lots of little spots just on my nose for some reason. So my chin as well, but not as much as my nose. I don't know why. Actually, is it gross if I show you? I'll show you anyway, whatever. <laughs> and I don't know like how well you can see, but just on my nose, I've got like so many little spots that just like come up every day. Like every morning I've got more little spots. And I do get a few on my chin, but it's not too bad. It's like mostly my nose at the moment. I also think that my face is starting to get a bit more greasy again. I think maybe it's like a seasonal thing because I mostly notice it when it's hot like spring and summer but then autumn and winter it kind of goes away so I think maybe it's related to that but I don't know because I only have the like greasy days now and then. I'm not usually like greasy every day it's just some days so I don't know it could even be like totally unrelated to tea but I don't think I've had this type of greasiness pre-tea, even on really hot days, so it's kind of hard to say, but yeah, I think it's tea related. So sorry if there's any changes in camera angles at all, I just had to change over my memory card and battery, so there also might be a bit of um, changes in light as well, because it just got really cloudy and dark, so... Yeah, hopefully that's not too noticeable. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about was my voice, which I kind of have both nothing and everything to say about it. I'm probably going to have a bit of a rant here, so just buckle up for a minute. Um, I hope you don't mind. But I don't think that I've really noticed any more changes in my voice recently. Maybe like the tiniest, teeniest, little, most subtle change but I have also been doing a bit of voice training lately just here and there, so it could be that as well. I'm not really sure, but I am starting to feel a little, a little suspicious, I guess you could say, at the fact that I haven't really had a major sort of significant or noticeable voice drop yet, because personally, I feel like I still sound pretty close to how I did pre-T, like maybe, maybe like a little bit less soft or something, but I I still sound like a squeaky toy, <laughs> in my opinion. It just really bothers me because one of my biggest sources of dysphoria is around my voice, and one of the things that I was really looking forward to from T was a voice change, and it hasn't happened yet. I don't want to compare my transition too much to other people's, but I'm kind of about to do that, <laughs> and I'm aware of that. But I did just want to say that I have noticed a lot of the time, like even when people are on a low dose of T, that their voice changes happen initially. The first ones kind of happen between like six and nine months and I am at 10 months and my voice still sounds pretty much almost the same as when I first started tea, or it does to me anyway. And basically I'm just kind of worried that like I'm going to be one of those people that doesn't really get a voice drop on tea because that does happen sometimes and yeah I guess I'm just worried that it's never going to happen. I don't know, like 
hopefully I'm wrong. I know sometimes like it takes a year or so for people to get their first voice changes and I know I've never really been able to get my T levels like into the male range so that could be why as well I guess. I just I'm just worried something's up but it could also just be that I'm really impatient but that could be it as well. I've been seeing plenty of signs over these 10 months of an incoming voice change and then nothing much has really happened. Like I've had all the sore throats and the dry throats and the coughing and like the raspiness and like losing some of my vocal range at the pitch that I would usually speak, like not being able to speak in that pitch for a little while because I sort of lose my voice there or I get a bit raspy or whatever. So I think, okay, does this mean a voice change is coming? Nothing. My voice breaks, but there's no drop. I just don't, I just don't know what's going on. I don't really know what else to say about that. I'm just, I just, I guess I'm feeling a little disheartened about the lack of progress with my voice. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm having I'm having feelings, okay? I'm having feelings around my voice and they're not really good feelings, but you know, yeah, it happens. The ups and downs of transitions, you know, it's not going to be all ups. I guess I just wanted to talk about it because it's my tea update and these are the feelings that I've been having lately. So I guess maybe like if you're one of those people that had their voice changes happen like later in their transition if you felt comfortable sharing anything around that with your personal experiences and your story with it I would definitely love to hear it I'm just really looking <laughs> for some comfort right now around this because I'm having I'm having a hard time so voice stuff aside I guess one other little thing that I wanted to say it isn't something that's happening yet but I am going to I guess inquire with my endo and see whether I can up my tea dose or not. I'd really like to go up to three pumps. I feel very ready for it, but I have a feeling that she'll probably say no because I've only just started finasteride and I feel like I'm going to have to wait for my tea levels to even out again before adding to them. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I mean, I guess I'll go up at some point. I'd really like to go up now, but I know that probably isn't going to happen, but I'll keep you posted. I also just wanted to say again, I know I said this in my last update, but I'm I just gonna reiterate it. That I don't know whether I will keep doing monthly updates just because of how finasteride is going to slow some of the external changes like facial hair and stuff. But having said that, like I'm definitely going to do an update for when I reach one year on T, and I'm gonna do it a little bit differently to how I've been doing all of my other updates because it's a year so you got to make it a little more special so then I'm like well then there's only like one other update in between now and one year so they like maybe I may as well just do the 11 month update as well I don't know so I'm kind of undecided about it it kind of depends on like what changes I do or don't see in that time if I see any at all but yeah I don't know I might just do it anyway even if you can't really see very much progression because it's gonna bother me if I have like a year of updates except for one <laughs> that's gonna annoy me a lot so I'll probably do it anyway I think that's everything that I have to say so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time